The most inspirational resource has been colleagues. And these are both ones that I see face to face and online as part of my personal learning network or my PLN. I rely on them for inspiration and they never fail me. Um, this is why a course like this is great. You'll make connections with other people and you'll continue the learning well beyond the conference. I also just want to make a little plug. I love uh, Silvia Tolestano and Janet Hale's book, A Guide to Documenting Learning. Um, it's a great practical resource and it's going to help support your teachers with documentation. So I would really love to give a plug for that. In terms of new challenges for all coaches in all schools, that's a bit difficult because it often depends on the school, depends on the coach, depends on the team that you're working with. But I think some of the old challenges will be there. Again, this is different for different coaches in different schools, but that's just how the coaching role goes. One thing that might be a possible new challenge is the change of the coaching role itself. Some schools are changing the role from a specialist coach, like a tech coach or a math coach or a literacy coach, into a instructional coach and there are issues that go along with that so dealing with change is different for different people i believe that there's a coach in everyone no matter what your role in school you can help support others around you that's what a coach does coaches are connected and they have a pulse on what's happening in education they help bring out the best in others and know and advocate for great pedagogy Coaches are role models and they share resources. They are advocates and amplify the voices of people around them. Um, so this, is, this course is about coaching, but I believe there's a coach in every classroom teacher because great teachers also do these things. You can take what you learn and apply this to working with other teachers or your students. Learning is a social process. We can read all the books on a subject like coaching that we want, but when we discuss our ideas and thoughts with others, we can deepen our understanding and thinking. That's what a coach can do with other people. Brain research tells us that the simple exercise of verbally sharing accesses different pathways in our brain and can extend our thinking. So I'm fortunate enough to be part of a team, a coaching team at my school, and we're always talking about coaching and working and developing our skills. One of my goals for the people of this workshop is for you to create a network that you can continue to learn from and with well beyond the conference. The key thing to coaching is relationships. So look for somebody who has experience cultivating relationships and supporting others. You want somebody who is connected and shown that they have, are an advocate for students and staff. Look for somebody who has knowledge of good pedagogy and a history of sharing. Somebody who is constantly learning will make a great coach. Uh, of course, it's great to have somebody with coaching expertise. I don't mean someone who has been a coach before necessarily, otherwise there will never be any new coaches. Teachers who have experience helping and supporting others can make great coaches. This is more important than the formal knowledge of coaching because that can be learned. 